Hello, I'm Steve Barsic Amstel with High Tech Design Safety. Today we're going to speak about process for tracer gas testing. How to get your tracer gas testing done. Well, first off, it's the goals for tracer gas testing. What we're validating here and testing to prove is that the enclosures, the exhaust design, the flow rates, and everything else can contain and capture exhaust chemicals and vapors and gas to outside the workspace and do it in such a way that we prevent anyone from being exposed to toxic chemicals and prevent fire or explosion in the equipment or workspace. How we get this kicked off is with the process of you contacting us at HTDS and we'll set up a call and sort out what needs to be done, how to do it. During that call, we'll send you an NDA and a scope document, a Crest for Services document. And also during the call, we'll review the details of the system. What would be great to see would be a mechanical drawing of the enclosures and process areas. Um, understand if there's any heaters, what the exhaust flow rates are, any fire systems, any safety interlocks. And most important is a full chemical list with all the liquids and gases identified so that we can identify you know, what the toxicity or flammability of something is. Then we'll ensure that we're in alignment on your system and needs and the scope. And at that same time on the call, we'll decide whether it's best for you to send the equipment to us, which is faster and less cost, or whether we can come to you, which is important for large, complex systems. And then we can also discuss on that call best practices and design to get there easier the first time and whether you need any add-on services like CFD or simulations, design reviews, and more like that. Once we understand all that, we can send you a quote. That quote process normally takes about a day, typically less. Once you get the quote, review it, and we'll have a call with you if need be, and then send us a quote, and we'll get going. Please send us all the documents we discussed earlier in this um, presentation, and then we'll have a kickoff meeting to further complete alignment on your system, timeline, when we'll be on site or when the equipment will be here, and further complete the needs. Then we'll be working in the background creating tra tracer gas test plan so we know exactly what's going to happen. You'll get a copy of that and be able to review it, make changes and additions if needed, and adjust the scope of your project if it is needed. Maybe you need some more things done or tested or you have a second model or an extra chamber that wasn't comprehended earlier. Then we'll review the chemical list also in the background, making sure we know which chemicals to test for, their flow rates and their, um, you know, lower explosive limits and occupational exposure limits. Then we'll be prepping the equipment to come on out and do it there, or we'll be clearing a space here for your equipment to come in. Once we have the equipment in front of us, we'll set up our test equipment and the gas bottle you provide. We'll compare the test plan to the system and meet with you to make sure that's right. And then we'll start testing. Testing normally takes one to two days, sometimes a little longer, but that's unusual. That's a really big system. We'll provide detail of findings each day and we'll support any equipment modifications that your team needs to make for the system to pass, like changing louvers or closing louvers, or you know, if somebody needs to take a door off to a shop and cut some holes in it to allow more airflow, we'll help you understand that. Then we'll complete the testing and do a full debriefing of where we are, what we found, and what's been developed. Now, we don't pack up quite yet because we wait to pack up once that debriefing is complete and everybody knows the um, the testing has been done and we achieved what we could. Next, the report will get completed. It'll be reviewed and sent to you for review. And when you get the review back to us, we'll go ahead and make any changes you see. And if the report's good, we'll release it to you and your tracer gas testing is done. Please hit the like and subscribe button below. That really helps us out. If you need tracer gas testing, please reach out to us. And we have a proven and tested path to conformance. Hope you have a great day. See you soon.